Oh, it's you again. Trying to sell me something else, huh? What you got there? I got some World War II stuff here from my dad. This is a survival kit. First aid kits in the Second World War. And they had gum, they had candy bars, they had speed, morphine. So I guess if you were shot down and hurt really bad, you could take some morphine and have some fresh breath. <laughs> I decided to come to the pawn shop today to sell my dad's World War II pilot jacket, a first aid kit, and a hat. We found it in his closet. It's been there for years. Maybe somebody who really appreciates it can buy it and display it somewhere. I'm hoping to sell these items for about two or $3,000. I, I might go as low as about 1500 My dad was stationed in Italy. Uh, he flew missions, uh, primarily bombing uh, trains and power stations. This okay. is the jacket that he wore while he flew. It's got uh, the airplane he flew, the P-38 right here. OK. The P-38 Lightning was a World War II fighter plane that was really unique because it had twin engines. It was so cool looking that the 1948 Cadillac had its tail fins modeled after it. I mean, there was basically two wars going on. There was the Pacific Campaign against the Japanese and, and Europe. Italy was bad. I mean, we first went to invade Italy. The Germans were dug in. They had good weapons. You know, they could dial the guns into 10,000 feet. Right. And all they had to do is blow up a few hundred feet from you. And it would take a plane down. Remember, these things were like micro thin aluminum all around him. He was lucky enough not to get hit. Neither did any of his friends. He was just a kid. He even said if he was any older, he probably would have been too smart to be flying over there because he was 19 or 20 years old. They thought they were uh, invincible. And uh, he, he actually had a good time over there. The jacket intrigues me, though. Some of these can be worth a lot of money. Uh, do you know how many runs he made? I really don't, but he was there, I think, uh, two years. The hat I don't think is worth a lot of money, to tell you the truth. A little moth-eaten, too. And we could open that if you want. No, I don't want to open it. I don't think any of this stuff is really good anymore, besides maybe the matches. The only questions I have is I know this insignia right here is from Italy, OK? OK. The thing that really weirds me out here, though, and I'm pretty sure the P-38 Lightning was specific theater only. Now I know he was in Italy, because he, he had relatives over there. He went and saw him. I just want someone to check this out, make sure it's actually not something that the ground forces wore or something like that. It's an actual flight jacket. I want to find out about the first aid kit, because I've never had one. The hat, we might as well have him check it out while he's here. OK. All right. All right. Good. If these items were used by a fighter pilot during World War II, there's no question. I want them. But I've never heard of a P-38 being used in Italy, and that concerns me. So I have to have them checked out. Hey, Paul, how's it going? Hey, Rick, how you been? I'm Hello. doing great. I'm Paul Milbury of Military Historical Arms and Antiques. I'm an expert in all types of military stuff, dating from World War II back to about 1776. And Rick, what's your concerns or questions about the jacket? What's it worth? My other concern was, was the P-38 on the back. I thought that was Pacific Theater only. I could have been wrong. And the P-38 Lightning was used by the 97th Fighter Squadron from 1942 to 45. The Latin name was Gervenzo uh, Satana, which is Latin for devil cat. So this was from the devil cats? Yeah. OK. Uh, the painting on the back is fairly weak. One of the sad things is it's been on a hanger too long. Right. Where you see that oh, it was yeah. broken through. Now, what about the uh, survival kit? Uh, you don't see these too often anymore with the contents. So what's something like that worth? This isn't in the best of shape, so you know, you know, yeah, it's right. maybe 75 bucks. OK, and is the hat worth anything? The, the hat is not in too great a shape. You have a lot of mothing here. In this condition, you'd be lucky to get $35, $45 out of it. OK. Now, do you have any other items that go with it? Because actually, what's going to make this valuable is the paperwork and the history, saying what he did, where he did it. That's what brings in the value now. The jacket, I'd say, put between 1000 and 1500 With history behind it, with the paperwork, with other stuff, I mean, the jacket could bring you know 1500 to 2500 OK. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Flight jackets are really great. I mean, you don't see them too often. They're disappearing from the collector's market. So what do you want to do with these? Probably sell it. OK. How much did you want for them? I was thinking around 1500 That's not going to happen. They got like 750 for all of us. We're not collectors, we're sellers. Right. And when we pay you $100 bills, then we have to take and hold it, market it, and then we try to acquire more $100 bills. <laughs> but I'm sometimes doing the same. we don't. 
Listening to Paul, I'm thinking, uh, I got paperwork at home that goes with this. I, maybe I'll uh, hold on to it, put the package together, and bring it back in here. Yeah, because if you bring that in, uh, I can probably make more money when I sell it. <laughs> <laughs> we could all do it. Yeah, we could all make more money. It would be Great. nice. They want it off for $750. That's a pretty good price, but uh, I'm hoping to put together more of a complete collection, bring it back here, maybe get five or $10,000.